Hello, I'm Bishop Mark Andrus from the Episcopal Diocese of California, which is the Bay Area. And I bring you greetings from Presiding Bishop Michael Curry. Uh, I'm here and there will be more delegates, the first delegation from the Episcopal Church to any of the COPs in the last 21 years. We, we really believe that climate change is one of the, the great, great issues facing us and we see it in eco-justice terms. It is about how climate change is um, unfairly and unequally impacting extremely poor people around the world. The Episcopal Church is part of the Anglican Communion, which is 80 million people in almost every country in the world. So um, we have Anglicans in the Pacific Islands. I just came from a gathering of indigenous uh, Pacific Islanders this morning, and they are facing the loss of their homes, not, uh, not simply uh, getting a little warmer, a little drier, but they are actually facing the imminent loss of the places they've lived for thousands of years. The idea of survival is what they're talking about. So uh, the Episcopal Church, as part of a global communion, as part of people on the earth, are standing with uh, the earth in this moment of great crisis and great possibility. When you're in church this uh, weekend, uh, coming up two days from now on Sunday, uh, if you would pray for specifically the places where you live, that is uh, the vulnerable people in your own communities who, and uh, the land and the, and the life that is around you. You know that life and you feel compassion for it because you know it. And love lets us see things as they truly are. So when it comes time for the prayers of the people, uh, pray for those things you love. The lives that are being uh, impacted by severe heat, by drought, uh, by, uh, by toxic waste, by uh, high carbon emissions. Uh, pray for those people. And remember, uh, God made us one people. When we pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, we are not praying as individuals, we're praying as all the faithful people on the earth. So when you pray, and pray the Lord's Prayer, uh, pray remembering that you are holding the hands of all of life uh, this weekend. And pray for us here in Paris. There are a lot of people who are working very, very hard, and they are part of your, your world. Uh, so thank you so much for your prayers. This is, the, what, this is what Christians can do, is what we best do.